welcome back to our homestead. Today I'm going to be preserving zucchinis. We have a ton of these zucchinis and I have some beautiful little ones and I have some huge ones as well. You know, I feel like with zucchinis, you miss one day and the next day they're gigantic. So I have so many of them and you know my motto, when in abundance today, we store away for tomorrow, but that doesn't mean that we cannot share with our friends and neighbors. So I already have given out many of these zucchinis to our friends and uh, family and neighbors. And now it's time for me to store away some for the winter months. And I wanna share with you a really cool and super easy recipe with you today that you can can it in a can with the water bath canning method and then open it up later in the fall or in the winter and serve it on the side of any other protein or even carbohydrate and it's delicious. It's zesty, it's, del oh, it's so delicious. Anyway, so let me show you the ingredients we're gonna be using today and a method of putting away zucchinis for the winter. Now, in case you ask me what is the name of this dish, I don't know. Zucchinis for winter or canning zucchinis for winter, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with a name, but it's a really cool, cool um, recipe. I am adopting this recipe from uh, one of the online recipes I saw and I twisted it and I made it my own. So therefore, it's my recipe and I really, really like it. It's delicious. So let me show you. Here are my jars being sterilized right now. And I have many different ways and methods of sterilizing, but these are one of them. And this is the same uh, water bath canner that I'm gonna be using later on. It's boiling water and I'm sterilizing them for 15 minutes. Some with steam, mostly by steam, but some of them half submerged in water. So this is what we need today. So my jars are sterilizing. I'm gonna have my lids and my rings here and the funnel. I'm also gonna pour boiling water on them to sterilize. And of course, here's the star of the show are our zucchinis. And these are beautiful big zucchinis. We're gonna be using zucchinis and you can use any zucchinis you like. And I'm gonna be using parsley. I have a big bunch of parsley, but I may need more because I have a lot more here. Now, how much parsley to use? You know, I think it should be to pe people's individual taste. I love parsley, we love parsley. This is plain Italian flat leaf parsley. I grow parsley, but I don't have enough, so I ended up buying some parsley. I think I'm actually gonna need two bunches. I have a second bunch laying over there. Then we're gonna need lots and lots of garlic. This is one head of garlic and I have another one sitting here being ready for me to be used, okay? I'm gonna need a knife, I'm gonna need some measurement teaspoons, and of course I'm gonna be needing vinegar. So here I have a 5% regular white vinegar. You know, most of the recipes that I know come from my motherland and we use 9% vinegar, but um, most American uh, recipes are 5%, so therefore I'm gonna be using 5% vinegar today. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna mention all of the measurements and ingredients in the description box. All right, so let's start, oh, I need to wipe this, it's kinda wet. Let's start cutting everything, and I'm gonna show you things I'm going to be needing today, and how I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be needing a skillet. Yes, with a little bit of oil, and oil should be of your choice. I'm gonna be using uh, avocado oil because uh, that's what I like, but you can use olive oil as well. So let me just push this to the side because I don't need it just yet. This guy should sit on the edge. But what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna be start, they've been all washed. I'm gonna be discarding the ends. I do not need the ends. They will go to my chickens, they will love that. And I have a large bowl here and I'm gonna be slicing them about about a centimeter wide. A centimeter is about half an inch or so, okay? Guess the meeting. I'm gonna be slicing them in circle just like this, okay? And the jars that I like to use are wide mouth jars. I prefer to use wide mouth because it's easier for me to use them for many reasons. So right now I'm just slicing them. Okay, I'm going to be slicing them for a while until I slice all of them. If the seeds are very large, because like, for example, let me grab this one. This might have large seeds. If that's the case, if that's the case, I may scoop out some of the 
seeds. And also if the skin is damaged or very yellow, I'm going to be cutting that out as well because I don't want it. I want a beautiful, see this one cracked, I think a little bit. So I'm just going to be cutting out sections I don't want. So let me see how it is on the inside. So, okay, I'm noticing that this one has large seeds. So let me cut this one in half and scoop out some of the big seeds. And trust me, they're not gonna go to waste. They're gonna go to my chickens and they're gonna say thank you. All right, I'm gonna scoop out some of these seeds. I'm gonna grab the spoon. All right, if I don't like this big seeds, I can scoop them out a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. Oops, that should be fine. I try to harvest them before they go into seed, but you know, it's not always possible. Not always possible. I feel like zucchinis are those wonderful vegetables that grow in abundance in our gardens. That is always a good idea to share with our friends and neighbors and whatnot. And allow those who don't have a chance to grow a garden to come and glean in your garden. Oh, the timer is up sterilization is over and the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut up all of this beautiful garlic i'm gonna cut them up into little beautiful thin slices so i've decided to peel two full heads of garlic so right now i have two full heads of garlic here because i've decided that i need more garlic so here's a scoop how much garlic should i been using in this recipe because this recipe is based on a lot of zucchinis, can you guys see this? A lot of zucchinis. I'm gonna be doing this recipe in quarts. This can be done in pints, but you have to then divide everything in half as far as the recipe, right? Um, but I'm doing in pint, I mean, excuse me, in quarts, so therefore I have a big recipe and I have a lot of zucchinis. So, per quart jar, I'm gonna be using three of these beautiful cloves, and that's a lot, that's a lot, okay? So that's why my zucchinis are gonna have lots of flavor, lots of beautiful flavor, because zucchini is a very bland kind of vegetable. Come on, let's agree on that. It doesn't have much to it. So we have to add a little zing to it, and zing is not gonna come from the black pepper that I'm gonna be adding later. The zinc is gonna come from this garlic, so they're gonna be garlicky. Oh, there you go, I think I have a name for this. Garlicky zucchini. That's gonna be my name, was garlic zucchini. Or oh, zucchini with garlic, I don't know, I still need to come up with a name. So hey, I was mentioning to you about sharing zucchinis with your friends. So have you guys heard of a phrase, um, gleaning is when you have an abundance of on your fields and your gardens and your farms and your homesteads when you have an abundance of certain produce that you invite people who don't have a chance to have a garden or unable for whatever different reasons who knows what the reasons are right and you allow them to come and harvest on the edges of your fields you know sometimes I see that on the farms where the tractors cannot get to the corners of their fields People come and they can, you know, they can collect whatever they can carry for themselves, not for sale, but for their own personal use. So it reminds me of a story, an old Hebrew story about Naomi and Ruth and how when there was starvation in the land of Judea and Judah, land of Judah, Naomi and her family her sons and her husband, they went to a different land to live where her sons married off to local girls. But then Naomi's husband died and her sons died. So now there are three widows, hello. And all of a sudden they hear that back home they had good harvest and there's no more starvation. And Naomi decides to go back to her own people. And she tells her daughters-in-law, she said, listen, you can stay, go back to your families. You're still young. You can remarry, have children, you know, have a normal life. And one daughter does just that. She says, I will obey you, mom. I will go to my people. But the other daughter-in-law, Ruth, she says, no, I will go with you. 
Your people will be my people. I will die where you die. Your God will be my God. I'm coming with you. Basically, don't leave me alone. I'm coming with you. So she came with her. And when they came back home, she heard that one of her distant relatives, his name was Boaz, had really good harvest. And you could go and glean, collect food for yourself on the fields. So that's why the word gleaning came to mind when I was talking about sharing zucchinis with your friends and family. So I'm almost done shredding all of my, cutting up all my garlic. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be now cutting up parsley as well. And it's a beautiful story about how Ruth marries Boaz. And it's a beautiful story. And if you don't know the story, I suggest you look it up. It's really cool. It's a really cool story. All right, so this goes into my bowl and I'm gonna be mixing all of these beautiful spicy, delicious things together. Okay, so I have this beautiful parsley here. I'm cutting off the stems. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm actually gonna put it in my freezer bag where I keep all of my onion peels and carrot peels and that sort of thing that's gonna go later into making broth. And the stems of different herbs go very well in making broth. All right, so I'm just gonna chop it up small. It doesn't have to be tiny, tiny, small, but I want it small, relatively small. So let me just cut this up. And I can definitely see that I'm gonna go for the second bunch of parsley that I have, because I wanna make sure that I have lots and lots of flavor. Now, as far as salt and pepper, I'm gonna add that later, so stay tuned because I'm gonna add that later. But let me cut up the second bunch of parsley and we'll mix it together with garlic. That goes all in here together. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh, the kitchen smells so good. Okay, everything is here, so let's it mix it all up and let it sit out on the side until I'm ready to put everything together for the jars. The jars already sterilized and slightly cooling off on the towel on the side. Okay, so this is ready. So it has lots of garlic and lots of parsley. And I will show you guys how I'm gonna put it all together. All right, next step. Next step, I'm gonna go over to my stove and I have a skillet where I'm gonna be doing a little bit of sauteing of this beautiful zucchini. All right, let's go over to the stove. All right, so now I'm just gonna skillet here, warming up. I'm gonna be using a little bit of avocado oil. I also like to use olive oil as well and I'm just gonna put the slices down and I'm gonna start cooking them, but not all the way through. I am not putting in salt or pepper right now. Why? Because I don't want to have them release their juice. I'm trying to get a little color on them. Okay, a little color. And I'm gonna be flipping them, so not cooking them through, only halfway done. Think of the word al dente, I guess. Okay, let me turn down the heat a little bit. And I'm gonna be frying them on both sides and I'm gonna be putting them over here until I'm done with all of them. Okay, let me, no, nope, not yet. A little bit more. So I don't know, probably like a minute on each side maybe. And then I'm gonna be flipping them and putting away. They're a little moist, so they're splattering a little bit. another minute, a minute and a half on the other side. Okay, a minute on each side and they got a little color, they got a little softer and I'm taking them off the heat and I'm going to grab the next, next section of zucchinis and lightly brown them on each side. And 
I'm gonna do this with all of them. I'm gonna try not to overcrowd them because I want them to do their thing. And again, about a minute on each side to get a little color and get them a little softer. Okay, I'm filling up my jars here. I have my sterilized jars. They already cooled off a little bit. And I am placing beautiful zucchinis in there. And I'm gonna do them in layers. So I have a first layer here. And now on top of that layer, I'm gonna be putting this beautiful mixture of parsley and garlic. I'm throwing a generous, I don't know, probably a tablespoon or so. And only now, my friends, I'm gonna be using salt. And I have one, where is it? One teaspoon of salt. Okay, measuring, and I'm sprinkling only a portion of it. I'm sprinkling it and putting it down, okay? Because I'm gonna be using one teaspoon for the entire quart. And now I'm sprinkling a little bit of pepper because why not, it's good flavor. And I'm gonna continue layering all of this nicely softened up, sauteed up zucchini. It's gonna be a delicious side dish in the winter. All right, another layer. And I'm gonna be throwing, again, more of this green garlicky deliciousness, just like this, okay? And of course, I'm gonna be sprinkling a little bit more of the salt, leaving some for the last layer, and a pinch of pepper to taste. If you don't like, if you like a lot, go ahead, put a lot. It doesn't have to be a lot because I feel like garlic itself has a lot of flavor. All right, and I'm gonna be putting a couple more pieces here probably. I'm gonna push it all down. And my friends, another layer of greens. Okay, just like this, a little bit more maybe. Okay, I will push everything down with another piece because once I do water bath processing, they will shrink. So I'm trying to push them down. Okay, I'm gonna finish up with the last sprinkle of salt, last pinch of pepper. All right, now, now it's time for vinegar. And the vinegar I'm using, like I said, 5%, and I'm gonna pour one third cup per quart. If you're using pints, you have gotta do half of that, okay? And guess what? That's pretty much it, but I'm not gonna put a cover on just yet. I'm gonna continue working until everything is filled up. And let me show you, friends. Remember like some oil left over and a little bit of juice that came out? We're not gonna throw it away. We're gonna be using it. So let me keep layering all of these beautiful zucchinis. I'm working on the next jar. All right. If you guys have a really cool recipe for preserving zucchinis, oh, please share. I'm sure other people want to hear about it. I have another recipe that I've done of zucchinis with dill, and I will post that video for you as well to look at. It's a really good recipe, but oh, I forgot. I need to measure <laughs> salt. I forgot. But I've learned in the, that next time when I use that recipe, I'm gonna be using a little bit less salt than that recipe called for. All right, keep on layering. All right. I need to make sure that everything is covered with one inch of water on top as well. So let me go do that. Also, the processing begins when the boiling is soft royal boiling is going on. That's when the timer begins. All right, so I ended up processing for 20 minutes because I realized, you know, they're quartz, they're not pints. So I processed for 20 minutes in water bath canner and this has not happened to me in a long, long time. Guess what? One of the jars, the bottom cracked. And like I said, what happens once in a while? I don't know if it was a damaged um, jar or something, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna allow these to cool off. I'm gonna hear popping soon, meaning that it's sealing. And I'm gonna leave them, let them sit on my counter for about 24 hours. Let them completely cool off. I'm gonna make sure the jars are nice and clean. I'm gonna take the rings off. 
because I don't store with rings. So these are my pickles I made last a uh, couple days ago. And see how I always label what year I made it. And of course, I take the rings off. I do not store with rings because with rings, you can accidentally get a full, false seal because the ring will be keeping it down. And when I store my jars for the winter use, I keep them in a single layer. I do not stack them one on top of the other because that can also give you a false seal, which is bad, okay? We don't want any bad foods. Okay, not to scare you about any kind of botulism because we have plenty of vinegar to protect our food. So friends, I hope you tried this recipe. I like it, it's nice and zesty. So be encouraged and try something new.